So we, we filled our survey forms and we build uh, our calculations uh, for three days and compare us to those graphs. You see the compare is here, 20%, 22%, 56%. 14, 11, and so on and so forth. And this is the, our, our graph information. How can you design it? Maybe you have different layouts. It is not a beautiful layout because I am, uh, we have didn't have enough expert you know, font and developments uh, skill. We, basically, we are in the, in the font and the API developer and backend developer. But we try our best to come up a really good solution with that one. So you see the pictures like that way. You have some survey you did a survey you come up the solutions and then individual they can do it so it's just like completely there is nothing to do in the back end it is completely cookie based and this is one of the cookie based professional applications just store your information day one day two day three and and calculate your business models like algorithms or your calculations that i i will show you later what the calculation algorithm look like you see the all the forms and then all the calculations and so on so very very simple very very simple applications and it's do a lot of things it's really doing a lot of things so if i go to the the result form that's i i will show you the results uh, the final results it's containing the results tables so we see the result is team in case so that's one that i can open it so you see the all the communication all graphs and functions and communicating the all reading the all the values you feel in the forms and then calculate your the other the your distance times type of moods and then so on and so forth and then after that you build your your graphs functions so this is the your building graph functions that's we are expecting uh, we are looking for the graph functions and here this is the graph function so you refresh it is gone because we refresh the pages and then so on and so forth so <clears throat> that means what we recap what we did here it's like we we start from the very 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 beginning level how can you integrate the javascript libraries that's 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 we we, we need and then we build the basic uh, graph functionalities and we fill our forms the our depending the your, your requirements you build the forms and do the the inserting your data and build your what you need and what you have to do in the processing curve that's 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 the expectation uh, depending on the your requirements so that means you need basic understanding of the on the javascript and understanding of the different 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 map libraries the javascript map libraries that i i, I will talk about that one you have the really open uh, open layer based javascript libraries there's a many many examples here you can see how can you build the graphs and open layer libraries exactly the same thing i am doing here with the leaflet graphs so you need to, that means you need a basic understanding javascript html and css and how can you start the specification how can you can you have to build your layout and you need to do some animations of your pictures and then you have static values and the grip the presentation of graphs and and here is the your calculation survey forms that i am looking for here the survey graphs you fill the survey graphs and then <coughs> build the results of that one the sorry so that and then you have see also the even though the menu bar and the survey graph you can do this way so and then 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 you do calculations the next screencast that i am talking about i will talk the detail little bit detail about the program code how can you start your program code and then where need to be start the simple html page how can you design your html page how can you build your javascript functions and how can you integrate the JavaScript function into the your HTML page? And then how can you, you know, link with the different JavaScript HTML, JavaScript pages with the one pages to the other pages? And that's the and how can you write down a very simple CSS? I am talking about this, this individual uh, the HTML page inside the HTML page. How can you write your JavaScript functions and 
store the values into the your cookies and then after that day one day two and day three or many more days if you need it you just simply add it and build the calculations uh, based on the your input values and then see the results of the of the final results and build the what we expected for the for our 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 application or our features that's the applications so that means we can go back to the, our presentations the, what what we are talking about we will show you this one the feature functionalities and then we already talk about the the graph functionalities and the requirement features and then the layout of the of the or the pop-ups and then so on animation and so on so forth and further forms so i would like to thanks again uh, for 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 subscribing the channels write down your comments your idea and share with us and that's help that's help us really make really professional products uh, with you and then you can also share our ideas and concept uh, with your professional career or your your your, your skill sets that's i think so so subscribe it to the channels write down your comment share with friends and colleagues and i we will continue the further developments and then you can you can you can you can you can you can share and you can follow the channels after when i we did our subscription or our build our publishing our screencast so now i said bye bye and goodbye see you later bye bye <laughs>